NRS uh, has several sections that have to do, again, with cattle wrestling and theft of cattle. Now, if you look under the theft statute of the NRS, it covers all of a large array of different circumstances. But the one that has the most specific circumstances is has to do with cattle. Right. And, uh, you know, a comprehensive theft is another <laughs> term used. And it, it's very general. It's easy to apply that. But this one is specific. It is specific to cattle. And it has all the strength. It has all the all the uh, the backing it, and all the elements are there. The BLM committed a grand larceny of cattle. Right. There was no two ways about it, and they did it because of a debt. Right. And these and they did it under those terms so that they were collecting a debt. Right. And the uh, NRS there says that it shall not be done right. for a debt. And then on top of that, something that's really disturbing to me, the NRS, the 205.230, it's the duties of a peace officer concerning the grand larceny of an animal. And it says, number one, all state, county, city, and township peace and law enforcement officers are empowered and directed. They're not just empowered, they are directed to pursue apprehend and arrest whenever or wherever, irrespective of county boundaries within the state, a person who commits grand larceny in violation of subsection 3 or 4 of NRS 205.220. Upon apprehension and arrest of a person pursuant to subsection 1, the arresting officer shall take the person before the nearest or most accessible magistrate without unnecessary delay. So right there, the Sheriff's Department and the LVMPD and the state troopers violated the NRS 205.230. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. The Sheriff failed in his duty. He failed. And then he comes crawling out there after he's been told by his master to go out there and appear to be settling the, the uh, or negotiate some kind of peace. I mean, if people will buy that, he knew way in advance what the feds were going to do. Right. It just didn't happen last Tuesday. It just didn't happen a week ago Tuesday. It's just, this was all planned. And he had all those excuses in line when Mr. Bundy went on over to ask the sheriff for his help. Right. And he immediately says, oh, no, 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 this is a federal jurisdiction. I can't get involved. So he had all those excuses because he knew what was going to happen. And this is where I condemn him. I condemn him for not doing his duty and violating his oath. He should step down and put somebody in there that will will follow that oath of office. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do know. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lori. Okay, well, and can I add also, Gordon, he should also be prosecuted yes. for that because by, by him not uh, doing his job, people were injured and there were abuses of people's rights. So he's complicit in all those crimes committed by BLM. Yes. So yeah, I would argue. Yeah, that's uh, that's where they have the uh, the statute in there about being a conspirator. Oh, you bet. Wow. You, you bet. I yeah, wish that's what I would argue because I, I, I say that um, saying that it's, it's under, uh, under color of law or anything like that it doesn't justify your actions. You know, if the Nazis did that, and they were proved wrong. You know, there are, there are certain boundaries that you can't cross, period, even if the law says it's okay to do that, which it doesn't in this case. But. Right, right. But many people are not getting that side of it. Many people, whether it be mainstream or whatever the case may be, they're not getting the side that it's already against Nevada law. Everything that happened is already against Nevada law. And they keep saying, well, it's federal land. Well, you know what? Show me a deed. Show me a deed to the quote-unquote federal land. Federal land is not supposed to be, according to Article One, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution, is limited to 10 square miles and not to exceed it. Uh -huh. So 
You show me where they have the authority to even be grabbing land in a state. You know, something that we uh, we haven't even talked about and uh, has not even been mentioned in this entire uh, show that you have, what about the four desert tortoise that they threw in? Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's amazing. Yes, let's talk about that tortoise because, uh, you know, everybody was going, oh, this about the tortoise, yet BLM was, Euthanize, euthanizing them um, last year. And on top of that, the BLM that went in there, they not only massacred cows, they destroyed tortoise burrows. So they really supposedly care so much about the tortoise. We all know this is about a land grab. This is about UN Agenda 21, to be honest with you. But, you know... Where was the desert tortoise when they were testing all those bombs out in the desert? <laughs> exactly. They, they removed them from the test site. I think they were glowing in the dark, the guys. Dark so, for so long after that, it'd be kind of hard to miss them, wouldn't it, Gordon? Yeah, I sure would be, you know. <laughs> well, actually, they probably had their cute little hazmat suits on and were running around trying to help the BLM because, you know, they just absolutely love them so much. So, you know, maybe they had their cute little hazmat <laughs> on. Protectors to the top of their shelf, you know. <laughs> Wow, that's great. That is so great. Is there um is there anything else that y'all would like to uh that y'all would like to go over or y'all would like to say? Do you have any upcoming um places that you're gonna be speaking at or anything like that you would like to let the viewers uh know about, Gordon? Well, well uh nothing uh nothing fresh right now, just all the old stuff, you know, it's just uh it's getting dirtier. We're, we're heading toward the dirty end of the field now uh, with the uh, sheriff's campaign. And it, it's coming up. June the 10th is the primary. Okay. And, uh, and only two go to the general in uh, two sheriff's candidates go to the general in November. So what I'd like you to do is to just wish me luck and, and stay supportive. Uh, and, and never forget the fact that the only reason that I'm running is to better my community. Right. I'm just, I'm trying to better my community. I've been doing that for 40 years. Absolutely. And that's probably the only reason that I, I'm still, uh, you know, I'm not a, a mental wreck or a physical wreck, uh, is because that's my goal. If, if it, if it is anything other than that, that's why you see uh, law enforcement officers that have been law enforcement officers for as long as I have. They uh, they don't end up in very good shape because their their goal was a little bit different than than what mine is. Right. You see, I can't be bought. It's not the money. It's for the betterment of my community. That's my reward when I can when I can make a dent into this corruption. So. With that being said, I'm going to have to uh, say goodnight to you, and I appreciate you having me on your show. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate you discussing um, all the different aspects uh, with your, with the Bundy Ranch, with the campaign, with the Nevada laws, and, and standing up for America and for freedom. And I wish you the best of luck um, in the Nevada Sheriff 2014 Sheriff's Campaign. I really, really with all my heart, hope that you do um, win that because it would be really good for the people, for freedom, and for their liberty as well. Um, I want to thank you as well, um, Dave, for joining me, and um, I, I hope you both have a wonderful night. All right, Dave.